Hello everyone, welcome to Ansible series of Cloud Yeti. In today's lesson, we are going to cover the comparison between Ansible Vault and AWS Secrets Manager. Hi, my name is Robin Gotham. I am AWS Certified Cloud and DevOps Engineer. Follow along with me till the end of the video so that we will learn the use cases for Ansible Vault and Secrets Manager. Let's get started with some basic theories and then we'll start making our hands dirty. AWS Secrets Manager helps to easily and securely manage your secrets such as DV credentials, API keys, SSS keys, etc. On the other hand, Ansible Vault is a feature of Ansible that allows you to keep sensitive data such as password or keys in encrypted files rather than on plain text in playbooks or roles. Secret Manager enables customers to rotate, manage and retrieve secrets throughout their life cycle. Both AWS Secrets Manager and Ansible Vault can encrypt the secrets, but AWS Secrets Manager has more advantage on rotating the secrets. AWS Secrets Manager follows pay-as-you-go model. Furthermore, AWS Secrets Manager helps in controlling the access of secrets using the fine-graded permissions with AWS IAM. Moreover, Secrets Manager helps in auditing and monitoring the secrets easily using AWS logging and monitoring services such as AWS CloudTrail and Amazon CloudWatch. When you are using an Ansible Vault, you need to provide a password while running Ansible Playbook or pass a Vault password through a file. And you'll be more clear for these concepts in our hands-on lab, so let's get it started. So here I am in my AWS management console in EC2 dashboard, I have one instance running. So I have Ansible installed on this instance. If you want to install the Ansible from scratch, you can follow along our previous videos of this series or you can also go through this GitHub link where I have uh, the Ansible installation in the localhost. I'll provide with the link in the description below for installation of Ansible in localhost. So here I am in my EC2 machine and if I type Ansible version you can see I have Ansible 2.9.5 installed. So let's go ahead and create a file to include our secrets. So let me type hello cloud Yeti. So you can see I have hello cloud Yeti inside secrets.yaml file. So let me show you the playbooks that I have written over here. So in this playbook, I am trying to see the content of the file, which is secrets.yaml, and basically I am performing a lookup for that file. So when I run the playbook now, You can see it's printing the message over here saying the value of secrets is hello cloud yeti. So this hello cloud yeti is inside the secrets.yaml. So let's say we want to use Ansible Vault to encrypt the secrets.yaml file. So for this, let me move over to my GitHub. So you can see for Ansible Vault, we have various options such as Create, View, Edit, Encrypt and Decrypt. 
So if you are running a playbook after you have Ansible Vault in place, you need to provide an option with Ask Vault Pass or Vault Password File to pass a Vault Password through a file. So for now, let me use an option called Encrypt. So you can see I have Encrypt over here which is used to encrypt an unencrypted file. So here let me use Ansible Vault Encrypt Secrets.yaml and it's asking for a password. So note that you need to use the same password if you are trying to view the secrets YAML or if you are using Ansible Playbook for prompting the password. You can also use KeyPass or Active Directory in order to store the password for a vault. So as I mentioned, there are two ways for calling Ansible Playbook. You can either prompt a password or you can pass a file. So in this vault password, let me name a random password that I want to create. So you can see I have encryption successful message over here. So if I try to cat the secrets.yaml file now, so when I cat the secrets.yaml file, I can see the hash value, but I don't see the content that I had inside that secrets.yaml file that, that was hello cloud yeti. So let's say now I wanted to run that playbook again. So if I run the playbook, it's going to fail. You can see it's failing because it's unable to decrypt this thing. So here I'm going to specify an argument ask vault pass. And it is asking for my password. So I'll enter the same password. And you can see it's retrieving the secrets from here. So this is just an example. You don't even want to print the secrets in the playbook. You can also use Dastas Vault Password File option to specify a file that has your password. But note that this needs to be securely placed. So this is how you use Ansible Vault to manage the secrets. So now let's get started with AWS Secrets Manager. So in order to configure AWS Secret Manager, let me provide a Secrets Manager role. So over here in Identity and Access Management dashboard on roles, I have created a custom role and attached Secrets Manager read and write policy. So let's go ahead and attach that role over this instance. So my role name is Secrets Manager role. Let me click apply. So once you have role in place, you can use AWS CLI for Secrets Manager service. So before using CLI, let's go ahead and see the Secrets Manager service over here. So over here, so in AWS Secrets Manager console, let's get it started with store a new secret. So over here, you can use various options. For now, let me select other type of secrets. 
So on the separate key value option, let me add a key and value. So I'll specify key and the value is Cloud Yeti. On encryption, you can also choose AWS KMS, but for now, we will choose default encryption keys. So on the secret name, let me follow the naming convention. Ansible. So on description, let me specify the tags are optional. So the cool thing about AWS Secrets Manager is it enables automatic rotation of keys as well as you can specify the rotation interval over here. So let me just click next over here and let me click store. So you can see my secrets has been generated. So if I click on the secrets and move below you can see there is a secret value option over here and if I click over here I will be displayed with the secrets information. Let's say you wanted to retrieve this value using the CLI. So what I can do over here is so the command is AWS secrets manager get secret value for retrieving the secret and you can provide the options such as secret ID region over here. So let me specify secret ID and you can see my secret ID is secret my app Ansible. And the reason is US East 1. So over here inside secret string, you can see we have key and value where the cloudiety value is our secret. Note that using AWS Secrets Manager get secret value command, you'll get your response on JSON format. So what if you only want to retrieve the value? So in order to only get so in order to only get the value out of this JSON, you need to perform this command with some further arguments. And I have an example for you. So in order to only print the value out of this JSON string, what you can do is you can add some extra arguments. So when you refer to the secretsmanager.emd file, which I'll be linking in the description below. So over here, let me install this JQ first. JQ is a lightweight and flexible command line JSON processor. So after we have installed JQ, let's try to use these options over here. So in this command, I'm going to add these things over here. And in this public key, I'm going to replace with just key. And you can see I have Cloud Yeti printed over here. So this is how we only print the value. So if you only use this command, you are going to get a bunch of JSON. So if you want to have the value, particular value that we have in our secrets, you can use 
options like this. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.